In the entire end sequence of Season 1, we get previews on all the major characters that are to come, Singe, Ambessa, and Salika. Now, Sabika isn't that major of a character in the grand scheme of things, but I think it's interesting that the writers want us to be on the lookout for Sabika in Season 2. So, what direction will she go in? Let's first dive into her character. Sabika, at her core, boasts a sense of burning patriotism for Zahn. She led her own gang around Zahn during Banner's leadership and disapproved of his pacifist mindset. She believes Zahn to be too good to be pushed around by Piltover and Enforcers, which is probably why she sided with Silco. Silco's vision for Piltover's independence swayed her to dedicate her loyalty and her men to serve Silco's agenda and upsetting the status quo. The reason why she values Silco's leadership is because of his vision, Zahn's independence. In a sense, that's the only thing Silco really had to offer, so it's safe to say that that is what drew her loyalty to him. Her leadership role under Silco hadn't diminished at all, as being his right hand means she oversees all labor and and ground level operations. Approximately 6 years passed between Acts 1 and 2, and Silco barely did anything in regards to his independence plan. All he did is sit around while his factories and camp barons chug out Shimmer while he raised the daughter. I'm surprised Savika didn't have any issue in Silco's stagnation. Like seriously, what is Silco's plan? All he was doing was continuing to keep the status quo peace between Piltover and Zahn, just like Bander. His influence over Marcus just made it so Piltover would send less enforcers into Zahn. Savika even noted, Been a while since top sides gotten this bold. I'll give Silco some credit. He had Jinx make her rocket to attack Topside, but it wasn't even his initial idea to steal the Hex Gem. Honestly, Jace did more to contribute to Zahn's independence as he was the one who reached out to make the deal. Meanwhile, Silco sits on his ass, smoking cigars, applying makeup, and making money. What does he even do with all that money? Whatever. He gets jealous that one time the top siders are leaving us further and further behind. But has no plan to bridge that gap. Whatever. Savika continues to shovel Soko's shit, and that's what attracts Finn to try and manipulate her. He talks about how Soko values Jinx over Savika, and how Soko is fumbling, but Savika still ends up choosing his side. Not for a worm like him. Because Finn has no vision for Zahn. I think Savika respects Soko's willingness to fight and trusts that, eventually, Soko would launch an all-out attack with Shimmer Monsters for Zahn's independence. The two also seem to be pretty close, with Soko confiding to her about his daughter issues. On that note, Savika and Jinx hate each other, probably because Savika's whole job is to keep things orderly and Jinx is the opposite of that. Jinx also trolls her hella, but honestly speaking, her final attack at the end of the season might win over some respect. Savika's last scene waiting for Soko in his room, showcasing her dedication to his cause above all else. The writer said that there's not going to be a new character of Zahn that will take center stage to become leader in season 2, which means that Jinx or Savika will represent the side of Zahn in next season. So, which one will it be? Well, obviously it's Savika, as Jinx can't control an army. However, is Savika really a leader? I'd say she would make a terrific temporary head of Zahn, already established in Zahn's community and as the head of the chain of command. People are used to getting bossed around by her, and she can just slip back into her previous role. To be frank, Savika was handling all of Soko's illegal activities anyways. But what about Jinx? Like I said, I think she won a little bit of respect from Savika from firing her missile. I think Savika had to admit that Jinx is the embodiment of Zahn. Scrappy, rambunctious, carefree, but flawed. Ideologically, Savika doesn't have the vision a leader needs. All she does is maintain the status quo. That is what makes her perfect as an intermediary leader for Zon, keeping the seat warm for the true leader to step up. Symbolically, I think it makes so much sense ending off season 1 with Savika in front of the empty throne, still inhabiting the room of authority. Savika might unironically see Jinx as a worthy successor to Silco, just not ready yet. Again, the writers stated how they want to take characters beyond what they are depicted as in League. For Jinx at the end of season 1, she already reached the point of her lead counterpart, and she will undoubtedly grow next season. I see her maturing more than ever. If the ending Jinx of season 1 is anything to show us, the calm, collected version of her is incredibly scary. Jinx will come into her own as a leader to truly embody Zahn and push the city to new heights come the end of season 2, taking her father's place. But that will be in its own video. We're talking about Savika. Savika will, in the meantime, keep the chair and Zahn ready for its next leader to step into power. The duality between Jinx and Savika also bodes well for the war narrative of Season 2. Savika maintaining order gives her a perfect role in playing defense, while Jinx's brash and chaotic nature best suits her for launching offensives in the Piltover. The two will have a symbiotic relationship, although they would hate to admit it. I hope we get a flashback to understand more of her character, and I can easily see her fighting Camille, 
who I think will be Sheriff next season. I think it's a pretty good matchup. We get Cyborg versus Cyborg. Anyways, do I think she will die? I can't say for sure. She could easily step back as right hand under the new leader of Zon, or she can be killed off to make way for Jinx to take her place. But overall, Sivika will take center stage as the next intermediary leader of Zon in controlling the gangs to resist Piltover's charge into the lanes, while waiting for the next worthy leader of Zon to come into their own. So, that's my video about Savika and her future. I'm gonna, probably going to do these with every single ar important arcane character. The reason why I chose Warwick first, Savika second, is that these two, the, how they're going to play out in League, it's, 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 it's hard to predict. We don't know too much about Warwick. We don't know too much about Savika. So, like, yeah, I, I want to talk about these characters first, even if they might not be the most important. We know Vi is going to turn into an enforcer. We know Caitlyn's uh, gonna gonna do Caitlyn's sniping skills, so yeah. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe. Do do all the YouTube stuff. And if you have any other thoughts about Savika, I I think this video's pretty short. Please let me know about them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.